The process of customizing is quick and easy with the Sort Sounds template. To navigate to the template, choose Templates, Reading, and Phonemic Awareness. When you open the Sort Sounds template, you'll see the name, a description, and a picture, and three very important buttons labeled Customize, Preview, and Publish. Since the template's new to you, you'll choose Preview and follow the verbalized prompts. In this activity, you will listen for beginning sounds. Click Show Me to learn how to use this activity. Click Practice if you're ready to try some problems by yourself. These Show Me and Practice buttons are part of the strategy used by Classroom Suite 4 to deliver direct and explicit instruction. Show Me is a presentation on the educational objectives of the activity. Practice is an opportunity for practice and corrective feedback. We're going to move straight into practice. Practice. Listen for the beginning sound and move the card to the column with the same beginning sound. Match. Match begins with the sound M. Let's listen to the headers to the two columns. Man. Sit. Match belongs in the first column. Side. Remember that practice offers feedback. I'll put this in the wrong column. Try again. And I'll do so a second time. Try again. Side. And. Man. Begin with different sounds. In practice, we're working on a mastery model where a student will always be guided to the correct answer. I'll go ahead and complete this practice section and fast forward the video. We're coming to the end of practice now. Good work. When you're ready, click the Challenge button. Challenge is the third leg of the direct and explicit strategy. In Challenge, the student sees the same activity type, but they don't receive the corrective supports. Their work is assessed. We're done previewing the activity, and we're going to move into Customize by clicking on the Customize button. The first tab offers activity options. Number one, choose the type of activity. Sort by initial sound, middle sound, ending sound, or rhyme sound. We'll choose ending sound for right now. Choose the number of columns and words. We'll choose three columns so that the activity will appear differently when we make our selections. And we'll choose two words per column. Number three, choose the sounds to sort. We'll choose B as in tub, D as in mad, and F as in leaf. We've customized our new activity. Listen for the ending sound and move the card to the column with the same ending sound. Cube. So we could watch the Show Me presentation or participate in practice and then challenge. But right now, we'll publish the activity by clicking on the Publish button. Automatically, we're taken to the Published Activities folder, and our activity is given the name Sort Ending BDF. We'll save the activity. Upon saving, we're asked if we want to continue working in the same template to create yet another activity. Let's do so to see how quick and easy this can be. Since we've already previewed and become familiar with the template, we'll choose Customize. This time, we'll again choose Ending Sounds. Two columns, three words per column. We'll choose the M mm sound as in ham and the N mm sound as in sun. We've now created a second activity, which we can publish. Again, we're taken to the Publish folder and the activity is given its name. Click on Save and it's as easy as that. You will find similar ease of use working in the reading area with any phonemic awareness or phonics template. You'll be able to preview, then customize, and then publish using Classroom Suite 4.